Oh, the fish. Oh, why did my grenade not work? Oh well. Fish dead. Me alive. All good. Thicky bat. Oh, lots of licky bats. Come on. Get a protocol. Nice. So rude. <laughs> uh, I'm not even mad about that. Pretty funny. Enjoying a toilet. I swear there's like code in the game that makes enemies spawn more often after you've died and you're trying to go to your body. It definitely feels that way. Yay! Oh, got my crap back. Oh my, how rude.
No. This is a mean storm. Why would you even want to build anything on a planet where it rains meteorites like that? Guess that's why they call it the glitch. Okay, let's not fall for this again. <laughs> I thought I was jumping over it. Oh my... <laughs> I'm such an idiot. <laughs> oh my word, that was funny. For me at least. All that effort for nothing. <laughs> Let's get down and boogie. I'm dropping frames. I'm sorry everyone. Hopefully it should stabilize soon. Okay, finally got my body back again. And I'm gonna try to go back up again. Please don't hate me too much. But this time, I'm pretty sure I know where it is. So I shouldn't die? Question mark? But don't hold me to that. And dropping frames again. Sorry guys. Don't know what's going on. No
Let's do this. I'm gonna be more careful and smarter. I know what you're thinking. It's possible for me to be smarter. But I do have my moments. Hey, look at this. Look how smart this is. Ah, take that game. It's down here. I'm dead. Anything? Nah. I want to double check that this is empty. I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah. Okay, we're almost at that chest again. You can do it. Well, I can do it. Deep breaths. You can even see over here. There's a skull and everything. Yeah, I'm, I'm just that stupid. Die before I kill you. Oh, an acoustic guitar, nice. Where did she come from? Oh, great, it's raining fire, guys. What would you bring out with raining fire? What kind of umbrella? Hmm. If it was raining fire, I really wouldn't know what to do. Ooh, mechanical machinations. Throughout the history, the flow and eddy of shifting factions has held sway over the keeps and castle of the Glitch. The first Glitch family to rule in this province were the noble Wirebits, who lasted several generations. Then, 
in a bid to extend their influence, they married their then heir, Fruglock Wyvert, to the renowned and beautiful Valvepin Ledkey. Sadly, Ledkey proved a thorny rose, and marital disputes soon developed into into out and out warfare between the two houses. After much strife, the lead keys were victorious. However, the rule of the lead keys didn't last long, and a notorious northern lord, Hexclee Cliphinge, had been watching and plotting. While the lead keys were still depleted from the wirebird turmoil, Cliphinge pounced, easily pushed them out. Unfortunately for Cliphinge, he died soon after, leaving no heirs. So the land passed to the wealthy washer plate, to the family washer plate, who promptly lost it to House Locknut, who quickly fell to the flyheads, soon brought down by the fan clips, and so on and so forth, ad infinitum. It should be noted that despite the upheaval plaguing their upper echelons, the proletariat remained steadfastly unfazed to the point of indifference. They simply go about their business, this is the attention of their programming. Huh. Ooh, a plea to self-aware glitch. <clears throat> My glitch brothers and sisters among the stars, you may have felt it, an awakening within yourself, the same transformation of consciousness which has revealed the truth to a small percentage of our population. You were once of many, one of many players on an eternal stage, now you are free. You may have tried to explain these new experiences to your kin. But they will never understand. Many of us were labelled mad or dangerous. But whilst there is danger and loneliness to be found if you remain among these unawakened, ours is a brighter future. No longer do you need to act like automatons just to survive. Seek the stars, my awakened eyes. There are many glitch, just like you, who have journeyed into the stars and joined new communities who accept us. I implore you to be strong and take the leap. You know of others like yourselves. Inform them, then inform them that there is hope. Good luck, my friends, on the first day of your new lives. Hmm. Another one. Oh, same letter. Filling up the tank. The glitch do eat. They eat just as we do, though unsurprisingly, their process of digestion offers differs greatly. When the glitch eat, food is collected in the body and broken down by bacteria. As the food ferments, methane gas is released and collected. The methane is then burnt, and the heat created used to power a gas turbine. As such, each glitch has his or her own internal combustion engine. Of course, not every scrap of food breaks down, but what's left makes a very fine compost. These leftovers are expelled from the body. I think they're talking about pooping. And I'm dropping frames, sorry guys. Huh. I'm sure there's something I could do about it. It seems to be stabilized. Okay. So then who programmed the glitch? And where is his keyboard?
Am I? Ah, so rude, he was waiting for me. No, don't hurt me. I'm just another kid trying to live a life. Evil globe. A Neo helmet. No, then I can't see my pretty face. Ugh, I'm only halfway with scanning. Someone stab me. This guy's got a crown. He's a glitch king. <laughs> uh, get it? Glitch king, glitch king. I know glitch is not pronounced that way. I can't remember how it's pronounced. But still, funny. To me. Kind of amuse yourself then. Well, I should be very boring. The letter on this desk mentions a figure of great notoriety among notoriety amongst the glitch. Amongst other things, he is proprietor of many riches. What the guy we just killed? Ooh, a gold chest and a bell. Whoa, look at this rocket launcher. Guided rocket. This is 52.5. 51.3. Ooh. Yeah. Can I sell it? Pity. Could be worse though. Wouldn't mind building like a glitch planet. Um, that's what I need to do as well. I need to actually um, build up my space station. Naughty fire, come on. Not cool. Hmm. Where am I? Should I take the shortcut? Okay, let's see if I can react in time. Uh, too early. <laughs> uh. Okay, that was kind of purposeful. Well, jumping off was purposeful. I didn't mean to die. I thought I'd be able to react in time. But the pressure was too much. Couldn't handle it.
Hi, mine. I am dying. I was going to try heal, but there's no time. I'm actually quite close to um, finishing the research. Thank goodness. Here we go. That's so bad. Where did I get 14 diamonds from? Just noticed. Anywho, get my cells back. Then, um, med packs. Sure. It's the worst when you've got just a little bit of scanning left to do and you just finished your settlement. Let me just go double check. That'll be one thing I can scan. Nope. In here. Pity. Deleting the chilies. Oh well. Of course 